All right, bam. Okay, today we're going to talk about how coaching works. Um, and you might be wondering, like, kind of why you'd be interested in coaching and kind of how coaching works is, is like when this is when you go looking for a coach. There's like a destination, some place that you want to be, um, and you're not entirely sure how to get there. And like what you could do, but like there's uh, several methodologies or strategies you could use to get there. You could just literally take, you could spend 40 years trying to figure out how to perfect your craft, how to figure out how to accomplish the things so that you can reach there. And they said that people that take and really, or, or obtain a level of competency will end up spending 10,000 hours working on and mastering and, and developing that craft. And one of the hacks or the shortcuts is being able to identify a coach, somebody who's been able to take and obtain a set of results. And it's a place and a location in which you want to be. Therefore, you would take and be interested in having them get in the game with you to help you overcome those obstacles. And a lot of times there's obstacles and things that you just don't know. You just don't realize that they actually exist. And if you had somebody with some inside insight or intuition, or they knew how to overcome the obstacles, then they could literally take you there. Let me give you an example. If you had, if every day you were, you were in a, I must pick one of these countries that maybe had some war and stuff. Well, let's just say it was like Germany. Okay. Um, and if you were like trying to navigate through Germany, but you know that, but that people had gone through and laid out mines throughout this entire stretch, that if you were to traverse that because you want to get to the other side of this minefield, um, you could, you could literally just go out there and start picking your way across this minefield trying to get to the other end. But if you think about it, there's probably a few pitfalls. And if you make a few mistakes, it might be the last mistake you ever get to make, right? And, but there happens to be this guy, or it could be this gal that on a daily basis goes out and literally crosses the minefield and does this traverse to get to the other side and they successfully do without getting blown up. Then in that case, you would say, wow, I would love to get to the other side, but wouldn't it make a whole lot of sense if I was to find a coach that could take and do it. And so, and this is where the, the relationship comes together is when you've identified a location or some place that you want to be, and you know that the, that the, there's a mind fit filled out there with all kinds of perilous of events that could, you could literally step into and literally could blow your foot off and it could set you back substantially. And I see examples of this like in real estate. Um, you could easily go out into the real estate market space and discover that you were interested in purchasing some properties and you started acquiring assets. And then you could do it kind of like Dave Ramsey did where he acquired all these assets and in the end, um, he got himself burned. And so now he goes on and talks about never ever touching debt again which in my opinion is completely wrong because if you look at any fortune 500 company, they all, um, they all have debt. So that's one of the great things about America. We have capital and capital helps us to create businesses, but nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that you could still traverse a minefield and successfully get to the other side. If you get a coach to take him to do it. And so like secret number one about a coach. So you would take and identify somebody who can show you exactly where you want to do. And the big idea here, the big secret here is, is they can take and literally compress decades down to dates. And that's one of the things like Tony Robbins will talk about is you don't need to spend 40 years to discover all of the things that you could have learned by talking to somebody and compressing decades to days. So you can see, like, I've got a lot of books here. I have lots of books, got lots of books here, got books here. I got books. I got tons of books. This is only a part of the books I have. But what it is, is these different individuals have been gracious enough to be able to take and to say, hey, like you might not be able to sit down with me individually, but if you want to, Joel Greenblatt right here, he will literally just say, hey, I took the time to take and to, to put together a strategy and to document and put it in a format that you could, could take and consume it. And so that is a methodology of being able to get coaching where he could take 40 years of experience and compress it down to days so that you could like learn the pitfalls, understand what you should and shouldn't do to be able to traverse that. Okay. And so that's one of the huge secrets of it. The, and part of the reason that, let me give you an example why you'd probably be interested in finding a coach is like everybody seems to have been given different talents. 
Now we have some talents that may be similar, but the, the reality is, is you're not going to be able to receive or have every single talent. It just takes too much time. If you were to spend 10,000 hours here, 10,000 hours here, 10,000 hours here to obtain a level of competency in all those areas. And so one of the advantages we can come up with, it's like somebody's trying to call me. So we'll go ahead and pause that for a second. Um, so one of the advantages um, that a coach can do is they can literally help us compress decades down to days and take the skills that they have and the talents that they've honed and then put it into place so that we can learn. Now, one of the most effective coaching is you can literally pick up this book and read it and understand it. But if you want to find a set of coaching methodology that has the highest probability of results, the highest probability of success, because the whole point of getting in the game or getting coaching is so that you can increase your probability of success. The best methodology ever created or ever invented is this part is called apprenticeship. And when I mean apprenticeship, you're talking about somebody who knows how to do it. They then work with you side by side, showing you how to do it. And therefore, when you learn the craft, you learn and you practice it perfectly. Like a lot of people say, yeah, I just go out and make a lot of mistakes. Like make take tons of mistakes and stuff, right? Like that's probably like I can appreciate that. But the re the point is, is you don't have to make every single mistake to discover that you shouldn't have done that, right? Like there's some things that you should be able to pick up, like crossing, like you don't need to walk out into the street and get hit by a car to discover that you shouldn't have walked out into the street to get hit by a car. Like there's some things that would be much better to learn through proxy that, that you should not do. And like one of the, the, the main things of an apprenticeship is what they're not working, they're going to do with you is they're going to help you practice, but they're not going to help you just practice like imperfectly. They're going to teach you and show you how to practice perfectly because perfect practice then makes a perfect result. I was talking to a, well, I'll tell you that in a second. Anyway, but that's the whole point is you got to be able to practice the thing perfectly. So then this leads into like the third, the third secret, which is coachability. Now, the story I was just going to share is last night I was talking with a gentleman. He's in the HVAC business. And when I was talking to him, um, I was like, you know, curious. I'm like, what kind of people are you looking for? Are you looking to be able to hire more people? Because I, I literally, I meet tons of people. And uh, I, I enjoy being able to help connect people to other people that, uh, that have needs and stuff where they can take and have a business relationship. And he's like, ah, right now, he goes, I'm not really, not really looking for people. And uh, somehow we got onto the subject of talking about like when he hires people, what is he looking for? And he says, you know, I used to hire experienced people to come in here and work with me on my businesses or in my HVAC business. But he goes, but, he goes, the problem is, is I ended up having a lot of complaints from clients and stuff and a lot of go backs and stuff. And it was kind of frustrating. And so then I would talk with the individual and they're like, this is how I would, this is how you take and you perform this task. And they would say, well, that's not how I've done it. And that's not how I, you know, that's not how I was trained to do it. That's not how I've done it. Therefore I'm not going to do it. Right. And he would became very frustrated because they actually created knowing because they knew what they, they thought they knew what they were doing. They kept practicing the thing incorrectly. And as a result, it created a whole lot of problems for them later on. It was his name. It's his reputation. It's their go back. It's spending more money to do a job that should have been done uh, the first time. And uh, what he said to him is like, well, that's fine. But the problem is, is you've always done it wrong. Just because you're doing it doesn't mean that you're doing it right. You've been doing it wrong forever. You need to change it. And people will get stuck into this rut of where they think that the way they're doing is in fact correct when in fact it is absolutely wrong. Okay. And one of the problems that people will run. So what he said is he goes, the only, the only people I basically hire now are younger, younger kids who are willing to, who haven't been trained in incorrectly, who are willing to listen and then who are willing to take and to implement the things that I show them. And he goes, because when I do that, and they do it properly. He goes, then my goal backs, my callbacks are, are, are like almost nothing. He goes, my reputation is good. I, I generate tons of referrals and leads. And he goes, and then I have a great business. And so in that case, he's super jazzed, right? And so one of the big things is in this coaching business is you've got to make yourself coachable, meaning 
you can't find yourself thinking like you're an old dog thinking that you understand how to do it you know how to do it therefore you're going to do it this way because once you think that you you know enough like you make a mistake you'll get you'll get like some of these billionaires highly successful right and people are like yeah well whatever he's doing that's wrong you know it's just stupid right like the prop the thing is is like they usually don't become successful or billionaire like that because they have a habit of being stupid that's usually not how that happens and so when you look at it, you can't sit there and discount what it is and the elements and the pieces that they take and they show you. And so like uh, one of the guys I like following is a, a guy named Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez, if you look at how he takes and he operates, his uh, target demographic is between the age of 18 and 26. And the reality is, is his mentor said, look, Ty, the, the, the problem is, is when people get older than that, they typically think that they, they think that they know everything. Therefore they become less coachable. And he says, you, you've got to be able to pick people in a, in an age group where they're at least still pliable, where you can at least still mentor them and coach them so that they can be successful. And so there in time, there in comes the secret of coachability. So like right now um, I'm working with my coach and this very thing kind of is kind of bubbling up because he wants me to, to take and to create the certain content. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, God, you know what? I'm like, what I'm looking for and I'm talking to him about is what I'm working on is give a, just spending a little more time with me, help me understand the pieces of what he's looking for and stuff so that I can do it. Because in my mind, what I've mentioned to him is like, look, I know so much stuff about all these different things that that I don't want to run off and be uncoachable and go on off and doing all these different things. Like part of the reason I, I, I literally reached out and I got a coach for some of the stuff I'm working on is because like I, you've already proven that you can do it. What I'm not trying to do is figure out how to do it Mike's way. I'm trying to figure out, you say that here's the method, the strategy that we take and we do it. And so then it becomes incumbent upon me to be coachable to the point that I can actually be successful and he can take me on this journey. And so um, I'm obviously not in the demographic of 18 to 26, but I buy books, I study, I learn, I listen, because I don't want to be so arrogant to think that I actually understand it. Um, therefore, you become so arrogant that you don't actually get the result because you forgot to be coachable. So three things, okay? So kind of three things we talked about. Coaching compresses decades to days. The best way to go about doing is getting an apprenticeship. Somebody that holds your hand, walks you, has you practice the craft perfectly. They would literally say, follow my footsteps as we walk across the minefield. I'll get to the other side without blowing up, okay? Um, and then coachability. You, uh, a person that's flexible enough and willing to just set aside what they think that they know and then follow the instructions so that the coach can take them on that journey. And so that's kind of it. That's how coaching works. That's how you set yourself up for success. So rock on. So you can go to ragstheriches.com, um, doing all kinds of cool stuff. I'm taking you on this journey as I'm, as I'm heading for the seven figure number. I already busted the six figures, did that in six months. That was pretty easy. Um, now I'm taking and hitting the seven figure. And so follow this Rags Riches transformation journey, and I'll share with you the things I've discovered along the way. Later.